Friday, November 6th, Psalm 120. In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you, and what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrow with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe to me that I sojourn in Meshash, that I dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. We live in a world full of aggression, division, and broken relationships. Verse 6 reveals a huge facilitator of the loneliness many of us feel, quarreling, which leads to the breakdown of relationships. We see this when we look at broken marriages, family bust-ups, fallouts between friends, and the political tension we are living in right now. Adam and Eve's friendship with God was broken, and this led to a separation between Adam and Eve themselves. The quarreling, their children, the rest, it's all history. The psalmist is feeling isolated as though living in a foreign land. He's surrounded by lying lips and deceitful tongues. The people he lives among hate peace and they're for war. Kind of sounds like the USA right now, doesn't it? In your distress, call out to the Lord and he will answer you. In contrast to those around you, be the person of peace. This is the characteristic of the people of God. Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Lord, help me to avoid the unnecessary quarreling that seems to be so rampant in our community right now. Lord, help me to be a peacemaker in my family, in my workplace, and in the community in which I live. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.